Okay, today I'm going to review Behave by Robert Sapolsky. The Biology of Humans at Our Best and Worst. So you might have heard me talk about this book before. I've, I know I've mentioned it a few times. Uh, it's one of my favorite science books that I've read recently and ever. It's a, a monolithic book. It's a giant book all about what makes humans do what we do, like everything about what makes us tick from, um, you know, genes to what's going on with hormones, what's going on in the brain, uh, what's happened in evolution and group dynamics. There's, there's so many different topics uh, covered by this book. Um, so this book is really long as a result. I think it's like 675 pages um, and it covers so much. It's, it's, it's really, there's a huge scope to the book. And the scope is what makes the book so good. Um, where the scope could be kind of make the book chaotic and disjointed and, and really large and and hard to read. The way the author writes this book, he really weaves everything together really, really well. Um, it really it, it kind of leaves a lot of other science books behind because it, it's so integrative in the way that he talks about all the different topics. So the way the book is written is the author starts with uh, an action, say someone pulls the trigger, some kind of behavior you want to study, you know, someone kills someone, someone mates, whatever. Um, some kind of intense action or behavior happens. And then he says the first chapter of the book kind of starts out with what happens one second before that action takes place. Like what happens in the brain, what's going on in the body, what are all the things that are affecting the way you act in the moment? And then it goes on and it looks like an hour before, you know, days before, months before, what happened in your childhood, what happened in evolution, what happens in group dynamics. And it kind of starts with what what's going on immediately after or immediately before an action and then kind of travels backwards. But the way he does it is he slowly covers all topics and, and talks about things when they become useful for understanding what's happening at the time um and it's, it's a really interesting way of putting all the information together i found it really uh captivating and kind of uh it was really good about making this the story cohesive because there's so much information in this book i really i can't stress how much information is in the book this book is probably compared to the normal books i read this is like five or six books worth of information crammed into this one book um, it's really impressive how he was able to put that much information in here without getting the reader lost in the, the details. But the way he writes it, I mean, that's really, the, the amount of information is staggering. But what's also is equally impressive to me is how he's able to put it all together and kind of keep you focused and interested in what he's talking about. That's something that I find pretty unusual with um, a lot of science books, a lot of the people that have the knowledge don't have the the skills to communicate it effectively. But this author, he really, he puts everything together um, in a, a wonderful way. It's uh, really impressive. So I would definitely recommend this book. Um, I think it's probably my favorite science book that I've ever read. Uh, for me, it really, it set a new benchmark for what can be communicated in a book. Um, I've never read something that had this amount of useful information in one book also i think the book's like 14 50 or 15 bucks on amazon right now for the this copy of the paperback version which i mean it's an unbelievable deal this is like five or six books worth of information i mean it would be a couple semester courses in college to cover this amount of information i mean it's really it's a huge amount of data uh, so if you're interested in this topic i mean absolutely pick this book up it's unbelievable I will say, though, that because there's so much information, you can get through the book and get like a third of the way through the book and your brain will be fatigued. Like your brain will tell you like, oh, this is like a book's worth of information. Like we should be getting to the end. And then you'll look and you'll say you're not even close to the end. You're not even halfway. You're maybe you're a third of the way through the book or something like that. So the book really does take a lot of time and energy to get through just because there's so much information uh, covered in the book. But it, it's absolutely worth putting in the time and the effort. Um, like I said, this 
this book for me is set a new benchmark for what a science book can be. And I, I would absolutely recommend it to anyone who has interest in the subject. It is a book that's definitely going to always be on my shelf that I'm going to come back to time and again because it it is so good at covering these topics. There's really, there's no comparable book in any genre that I know of that is this kind of authoritative on a topic. So if you're interested, definitely pick it up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm kind of in a makeshift studio. I just moved and uh, I just kind of set the camera up in my office. But I do have another studio that I'm putting together that'll be uh, much nicer and prettier and professional looking. So stick around. I've got some more reviews coming. Uh, I've got some more other stuff coming now that I have more space. But uh, I've been saying that for a while, so who knows how long it'll take. But uh, stick around, uh, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks.